Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video we start as I often do with the contract screen and we have a Tylo Lightstone contract potentially here. We've also already got a science day from the surface of Tylo but that could be done with a probe instead of actually landing a Kerbal but obviously the Tylo Lightstone contract requires a Kerbal. It says have a Kerbal uh, pick it up. We don't have a little arm that can pick it up for us. Uh, there is also a bunch of Ike contracts and we already have one. We have a satellite in an equatorial orbit of Ike. But of course that is uncrewed. Uh, in order to plant a flag on Ike we would have to have crew. But of course we could just slough off a probe. And we need science uh, from the surface of Ike there. And position a satellite in a specific orbit of Duna. Now, of course, we have a limited number of Kerbals and unfortunately not enough engineers, but uh, so there's that problem. This Gilly contracts, we probably will pick everything up, but uh, we've got Valny scrap, so there we could get a Kerbal, but Valny I don't think is a engineer either. And we wanted to position a satellite in that orbit. So, uh, plan a flag on Eve is not happening, darn it. Uh, Finish a construction of Roper on Duna. That's Duna rather than Ike, so I'll probably pass on that for now. The specific orbit of Duna for this for this satellite is probably not too bad in terms of being conducive to our Ike contracts. So anyway, I'm, I'm gonna pick them up and then decide what to do based on which window comes up next. So it could be Gilly, could be Ike, could be Tylo, and those are the main options. Um, science data from the surface of Leif I'll pick up right now, but we won't plan for that because that's very distinct from uh, Tylo's situation. We'll probably want to send a space plane over to Leif for that. Uh, Tylo is the tougher landing and uh, to some extent tough on the ascent, but I feel like Leif is the tougher ascent. It's an easier landing uh, as long as you actually hit land because there's a lot of water on Leif. So, yeah, so that lathe contract we'll probably wait on. Explore Val, though. Orbit, spacewalk, return to Kerbin from orbit of Val. I, I think we could possibly do this Val contract without, uh, uh, on the way to Tylo, basically. So, yeah, we could probably just do it on the way to Tylo. So we'll think about that. I think it's going to be Jewel. We want a 45 degree angle of Duna. We want Eve to be like 54 behind us and Jewel to be 90 degrees ahead of us. We're already at the Jewel window. We're probably a little bit past it, in fact. So we're going to do Jewel first and the Tylo mission. So let me put that together. It's going to have to be a pretty robust lander. We need lots of Delta V to land and lift off again from Tylo. Okay, so let's talk over the Tylo lander first. I think this is okay. Maybe, maybe not. It is a two-stage lander because Tylo is a bit hard. And we are packing more than 2,000 meters per second on each stage. So the descent stage has 2,332 vacuum and we're on body Tylo here. So thrust weight ratio of 1.73 and the upper stage with two sparks has a thrust weight ratio of 1.75. 2,500, a little bit more so that we can do the rendezvous with a return vehicle. And you can see the burn times are relatively the same, uh, fairly balanced, two, me uh, two minute burns. And here we have the Cheetah, which you might not have expected for a lander engine, but here we are. That leads this to be a little bit tall. Uh, I even have clipped in the Cheetah a little bit into the tank up here. But we've got all the tanks arrayed there. I even put little round ones here. Actually, um, the round ones are technically attached to this tank and just shifted down. Same with the landing legs. And we have a ladder. Very important. The gravity of Thalo is intense. Hopefully the Kerbal can jump on to that. And we have solar panels, RCS thrusters, and we're using the internal mod propellant for the rendezvous. And we have an antenna just the surface one. We'll have the main antenna on the orbiting vehicle. And then uh, simple science here. I guess we can put goo containers. I'm a little bit apprehensive about how much Delta V I need. 
I remember Tylo being hard, <laughs> so I just want to make sure that we don't hurt our chances unnecessarily. I mean, we could have the magnetometer boom, but I don't know if that works on the surface of Tylo. If we add an engineer, we could just then yank the magnetometer boom and put it onto the... We, we could keep it on the orbiting vessel, put it onto the lander temporarily, and then put it onto the orbiting vessel, but here we would be ditching the magnetometer boom on the surface on the uh, lander stage, so... That's not very nice. I think we'll just keep to two goos. Okay, so... But I, actually, one thing we could counterbalance the goo with is one more battery. We only have currently the 50 electric charge there. So we can put two of these on the other side. And technically... Two of those as well, but I think this will do. Okay, so now I'm going to build everything else. Okay, well I can't say that this is exactly what I was intending initially, but okay, so we have the lander there, and then there's a return vessel, and just for looks I put on that escape tower. We might need it, we'll see. Uh, but because this is a little bit of an awkward situation. Uh, but I was sort of going for a Saturn 1B, but and I really wanted to use the Bobcats down here to make the eight engines on the Saturn 1B. However, they did not have nearly enough thrust to lift this off. And so we have these big boosters. And they're set to 83%. And we attached uh, it as a tank in the center and then these on the side and uh, they're attached with the engine plates and everything. Engine plate down here too. And so who knows if it's reading delta V properly, but uh, we've got a skiff here as our J2 of course. And that will be responsible for getting us to Jewel and capturing around Tylo. And otherwise, this will rendezvous with that. But I put a docking port here just in case. Well, first of all, it's probably better than uh, decoupler as far as mass is concerned. And it's more flexible just in case you want to suck some fuel out or really need this stage's help to get somewhere. And, well, that's that. I, I decided that we would want to have a pilot up here. So we'll send Megan along with a one of our mini scientists so Kirsted I suppose and Kirsted will actually land there is a probe core on this but not one up here um, I'm thinking about whether I need an antenna I don't expect to transmit the science ahead of time so we might not even have needed the antenna here but I guess just say well um, hmm the, we have a probe core there, so maybe we do need a direct line back somehow. Uh, this stage can operate as our relay. Uh, perhaps we can put two of those just over here, flip around. Two of those. And that can be our relay situation. Perhaps. Okay. So, yes, last minute changes. We know how all that works. But, yep, we should be at the window. We've got our crew. I'm probably forgetting something important. Uh, let's see. Um, Lightstone is what we want. We want to uh, transmit data from the surface of, well, collect data from the surface of Tylo. That's fine. Explore Val, they'll just be swinging by that, hopefully. I mean, if we can manage it. And, yep, I guess we're ready to go. Okay, SAS on, throttle up, and launch. Okay, not the fastest ascent with this. 
We'll see if the boosters last long enough to give us enough of a start so that the next stage... The next stage does not have a thrust weight ratio of 1 initially. So we have to be cognizant of that. It's shaking a lot. It's fairly smooth right now, though. As far as turning it is concerned. Well... Well, we have a, more than a minute to apoapsis, and I'm, I'm guessing that that will be long enough for the bobcats to get up to a higher thrust weight ratio. Okay, booster set. Well, we're still accelerating. I guess launch escape system jettison. I made that action group zero. Well, off it goes. At some point, I should do the full Saturn V deal. This is not an ideal uh, Saturn 1B. I could have done better than this, but... Given the necessities of the mission, this was not a bad arrangement. Well, we more or less have what we needed with this. I don't think I'm going to keep this stage in order to help with the transfer to Jewel. It'll be too cumbersome. And we'll probably just de we'll allow it to deorbit. So I'll keep it under 30 kilometers on the periapsis. Okay. Hopefully that's good enough. Separation. And skiff. Alright, that'll do. And that looks like a good transfer right there. We, we'll make a correction, of course. I intend to focus on it, not uh, try and launch something else in the middle. We'll have to do a plane change maneuver somewhere, but that won't be here. We are pretty low, and... The node is pretty low, and we don't want to graze the atmosphere, so we'll have to watch out for that. Onward. Okay, we're getting close to the atmosphere. I'm gonna not allow that to happen. I'll just point straight prograde here. We may need to make other corrections as a result. Okay, we're passing periapsis, so I'm putting back at the maneuver node. I'm just wondering if I've made some horrible mistake at some point. Okay, let me throttle down for a sec and see what's actually going on. Alright. The plot is probably wrong at this point, so we need to keep an eye on when we might get a jewel encounter. Okay, there we go. Alright. Okay, so. Saved ourselves from overburning by 47 meters per second. And that's the orbit we're interested in for the mid-course adjustment. It's pretty hefty, this inclination change. And what in encounter we have here? Tylo! I sort of wanted Val, to be honest. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Can we get Val? Probably not. Maybe we should just deal with Tyler. Tyler's capable of getting us into orbit anyway, so. Maybe we can do a Tylo to Val first and then come back to Tylo or something. Okay. So that gets us into orbit as planned. So that'll be fine. All right, let's just proceed on to that node with Megan and Kirstead. I forgot to put the magnetometer on the top bit. <laughs> uh, that if that's all I forgot, we're in good shape. It's an unknown object. Wait. Uh, I saw an unknown- oh yeah, there's an unknown object like right next to Drez. Wait, wait, hold on. Focus view. 
Oh, there's a bunch of little Drez asteroids. They didn't seem to be moving on. Let me just... We're gonna take a little detour and take a look at these Drez asteroids here. Um, track. They're in, they got captured and are in orbit. All three of them? Guys, Drez has three moons. Well, that makes it substantially more interesting. <laughs> We've got three asteroids that got spontaneously captured by Drez. Hmm. Well, that might lead to some additional plans. All right. Well, now we know. Okay, so file that. Hopefully I'll remember. I just noticed that the asteroid icon was like right on top of Drez and wasn't moving. It didn't seem to be going anywhere as I time warped around the sun. Okay, here we go for the inclination correction burn. I think we're close enough. We do want to get that Tylo encounter right though. Well, that's a bit more inclined than I was looking for. That doesn't help. Okay. Well, probably that's something we can correct when we arrive in the SOI. Let's see. I want to make sure we're in line so that potentially we can hit Val as well. Okay, so that's a little bit better with this minor correction. And that's a safe periapsis around Jewel. Very important. Okay, so on to Jewel SOI. Okay, we have entered Jewel SOI. We'll just do the correction as planned. Okay, that looks good. So we capture... Well, we'll figure it out after we pass by Tylo and everything. We have a Tylo encounter. I think we've done the relevant science here. But let's see, EVA report? Yeah, we've already done these. Okay, board report, yeah. All right, nothing new. We'll have to land to get something new. But first, I want to fly by Val somehow. We'll get low. I mean, if we haven't gotten low over before, we'll get low over when we actually make orbit around it. For which we have 1,461 meters per second. So we have, do have to keep that in mind. We have a limited amount of fuel. I think we'll lift up on this side. And we can probably meet Val there. We have to make sure Val doesn't do something bad to our orbit. Uh, it can bring our orbit down, that's fine. Now well, let's keep this from getting too fancy. That'll do for now. And specifically though, we actually need to get into orbit around Val, don't we? Orbit spacewalk we can do the spacewalk but we have to return from orbit of val so we need to get into orbit around val that's going to cost a bit then we probably don't want this oblique encounter for that hmm so maybe we should wait a little while let's see oh there's a little bit better of an encounter but are we really going to be able to orbit Val and break orbit around Val and get to Tylo? With the fuel that we have? Maybe that's asking for too much. Tylo is the first requirement. So getting into orbit around Val, that's a... Whip. That's a bare orbit, 416. Okay, so 272, 416. Oh, sorry, 486. I don't know. No, I don't think I want to. It's close. It's close, but I think this is dubious. Maybe if we get really close to Val, it's uh, easier to capture? I don't know. Four ten.
So after we do that, let's say we pop back out again. Okay, and then we get into that blue orb, but I've got all sorts of extra patched conics here. So if you don't have all the all the extra patch conics, you won't be able to see this many orbits ahead. So I lift up to Tylo encounter, that's 184. And then I round it out to match orbits with Tylo. That's 274. Okay, so let's tally everything up here. I'm gonna bring my cap calculator out because this looks like a lot of things happening. Okay, 272.3. Uh, and then there's a capture burn here, 410.6, and then there's a departure burn to break orbit, 37.4. Well, that's not too bad, actually, because we had barely made orbit. And then it is just a rough thing. We could probably, on this departure burn, directly lift ourselves up to Tylo's orbit. But let's say we do this at Periapsis around Joule instead. Uh, so that's 184.1 and then this is approximately making orbit around Tylo because it's matching its orbit so that's 274.5 that's 1179 altogether so okay we'll try it this uh, hmm well that that better be all the things let's see we have to wait on that one that's in 15 days only I hope there's no random moon encounter before then. And if you don't know, I think these days the patch conics limit is in the settings here even. Uh, so the conic patch limit I set to 7, that's the max you can set there. And that'll allow you to plan all the maneuvers ahead of time. Well, 7 steps anyway. Okay, burn. Okay, 0.1 meters per second. Is that good enough? Not lathe. Bow. Uh, well, we're aiming for 80 something, I guess. Uh, we. Oh, that's further. Uh, let's. I'll use some of the RCS. The closer, the better, probably. All right. So let's get rid of all the other plots here and just capture barely. Hopefully it's being honest about that. So 397 because we got closer to Val is cheaper. Okay, we are in the SOI. Well, uh, we might as well do a spacewalk. Uh, does it say in orbit of? Orbital spacewalk near Val. I guess we have to be, yeah, we have to be in orbit. Well, let's just check. Did we do crew report before? Yeah, we have. Okay, so we probably have done EV report as well. Probably there's a lot of gravioli detector readings that I'm passing on at the moment. But once again, I trust this is not the last time we're going to be passing by Val. So it's okay. I mean, uh, going forward, as long as there's still interest in this series, I'll keep going basically until KSP2 comes out. I don't see any reason not to. You'll see where things go given that length of time. As long as I still make money from contracts. Okay, go. Okay, well the camera changed. We don't need to make a tighter orbit than it absolutely requires. So that's an orbit, and it says it's an orbit. Okay. So crew report, we've done it near Val as well, so it's just a matter of getting the EVA for credit here. Okay. And EVA report, oh that hasn't been done, so keep board. So we did that, and ultimately we just need to return to Kerbin. Hopefully the fact that it's not direct is okay. This is the root part, so that is what we are going to be bringing back. And hopefully everything is 
Hopefully everything with the contract works out. Now we have to get over to Tylo. Tylo's out there. So let's say I just immediately go out. I think maybe. Uh, uh, I think that's probably too soon. But we could phase with it. It'll be probably better to just go now and then wait instead of doing a separate burn. Got some inclination. Anyway, yeah, we'll have to wait. But we will do that now. That's a pretty sharp mountain right there. Um, is that a rendering writer? Mount Sharp. No, that's a different planet. Go. Let's see. Perhaps a little bit further. Okay. So we'll mostly just. Well, well, well that'll do. Uh, let's just make sure it's not wacky or something. So happens we immediately get an encounter again. All right. I have no problems with that, and it looks awful close. Yep, hardly any effort. But we want to get into low orbit to prepare for landing, so that's the trick. I didn't really think about that aspect, but yeah, that we have enough. Well, that's not really, really low. Maybe we can get a little bit lower on this by some adjustment here. So let's say at periapsis, can we adjust so that that periapsis around Tylo is a little bit closer? 50 should do. Probably can get even closer. And then there. It's nice having a pilot along so I don't have to even think about the comms in this case. That was a good decision. Eh, that's too much. We can't bring in that tight. I don't really want to land on this side. We'll figure it out. Okay, well, that's as much as we can spend, basically. So, that is what we are going to do. Let's go to this minor correction here. Okay, and go... And stop. Okay, maybe that's good enough. Let's see. Alright, yeah, that'll do. Let us continue to Tylo, finally. This time for, well, not for, I won't say for keeps. For keeps for a while. We are not just flying by this time. Look at that orbit. Look at how much we are almost captured. But then there's so much distance between being captured around orbit around Tylo and getting into a low orbit around Tylo. That is probably a problem for the return, too, that I did not fully consider. We'll see. Will the amount of Delta V I put in the return pod be enough? It's more than 2,000 meters per second, but... Hmm... Have we done a crew report around here? Yeah. Well, I guess quickly, can we get an EV report? Or have we already done an EV report? We have not over the lowlands, so keep, forward, got something. Some contingency science. Okay, capture burn. And I'm just gonna expend this stage. And that's it. Uh, why is it reading zero? Uh oh, is it draining some from something it shouldn't have? Oh, it started draining from these. Wow. Uh, it didn't actually do any more. Okay, so it, it did start draining from stuff above. That's not good. Uh, let's decouple so that we don't have to worry about that. So that, and I had staged a docking port. I had clicked disable crossfeed. Good thing. Um, whatchamacallit. They were a lower fuel priority. Okay. S separation. They're a bit more clamshell than I was expecting. Okay, that set us target. Oh, uh, I forgot to deploy the antenna before doing that. Uh, 
Well, we could dock to it, but that's probably excessive. Mm. Oh, let's dock to it. I want to deploy those antennae. Are these broken or okay? Okay, we're awful close. Oh, 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 a magnetism. We didn't even have to use the RCS. Okay, we're docked. We can deploy those antennae. I don't think the antennae actually require control to be available, right? <laughs> Good thing they clipped right through the pod. All right. Okay, so we successfully deployed those. And we'll let it go. Okay. Right. I don't know if that's actually an operant relay uh, or anything. <laughs> Are those even relay antennae? I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe. I, I think I just put them on for looks. <laughs> anyway, we have our mission in orbit around Tylo. And I think we will discover whether it all works out next time. So we will attempt the landing in the next video. And hopefully things will work out. But we're short a little bit of Delta V because I accidentally allowed that stage to suck some of the fuel up from here. So hopefully that doesn't throw us off too much. But anyway, so far it's okay. Gravity data? We've got some gravity data. Let's just keep that for now. All right. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.